Hello and welcome back to Hard Reset Info. In this video, I will show you how to change display settings on Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 7. Let's begin. So, there are two main ways for you to change your display settings. The first one is the safest option and the second one is more dangerous option. I will explain that in a minute. But, of course, let's start with the more safer approach. First, head into settings. Then inside settings, you want to scroll down a little and head into display. In display, you want to scroll down and head into font size and style. Here we can increase the font size, but it doesn't really change much. As you can see, it gives an illusion that we have a bigger display and the labels are actually increased so they can fit the style, but it doesn't really change that much. So I will go back and as you can see, we do have something called screen layout and zoom, but currently it is not available. So let's unfold our beautiful Fold 7 here. Let's put it on our desk and now we can go into screen layout and zoom and you will notice a little slider here and it is for screen zoom but even though it is a slider it actually only has two options this one which is zoomed out and this which is zoomed in the difference exists but it is not that big also, we also have something called multi-view and standard view, which is something very important, but we'll mention it later. So, technically speaking, we should have this done, like we should have everything done, we, I could end the video now. However, there is one more way for you to change your DPI settings. And it's technically very simple, but also I did break the phone accidentally, so <laughs> you want to be careful with that. Anyway. You want to scroll all the way down into the settings. But as you can see, we do have a little spoiler, so I will now disable it. And boom, you have never saw a thing. But of course, I am talking about developer settings. In order to enable developer settings, you want to head into your about phone, head into software information, and click build number seven times. In order to become a developer, you must import your current password and now click OK to developer mode. Now we can scroll down and we have our beautiful developer options. Now why am I talking about this? Well, we can scroll down until we see a section called drawing. So networking, no. Input, no. Drawing. Here it is. We do have a couple of things. For example, you can like show layout bounds if you want to see how the layout is done but we don't really care about that. Instead, we want to scroll down and here we have minimum width, which is an incredibly important feature, especially for this tutorial. You will probably want to write down that 374 number, but what we can now do with that? Well, this is the minimum width of our current display. So we can increase it to, for example, 500. And you will notice that now it's a bit smaller, right? It's actually very much slower. And we can also input a smaller number, like 200, which will get automatically transferred to minimum minimum width. I don't think we can actually lower, be lower than 320 to change the display size. And now why did I say that it was dangerous? Well, you can break your phone pretty easy. But in order to show you that, we can go into the unfolded version. And I did notice that uh, the cover screen and the main screen actually has like two different modes. You will notice that if we scroll all the way down into developer options here and go into drawing, which should be around here, we see that actually our cover screen has a diff difficult, different width. So we can also increase the width here. So we can decrease it to 200 and probably the minimum will be 320, just like before. But we can also bump it up. So let's go with 450. That's looking pretty good. But if we increase it to even smaller amount, for example, a bigger amount, for example, 550, still pretty good. Let's go with 600. Now, 
the problems occur. Because as you can see, we have smelled down our cover screen so much that now actually it's using that different screen zoom and screen layout from our main screen. Even though technically this shouldn't be possible because we are on our cover screen and we can try to edit our phone and look, we have a fold screen with unfold without unfolded screen. That's pretty funny. And why did I talk about problems? Well, if you will go to minimum width now, maybe it will... Oh, we can already see some weird things going on, because as you can see, our minimum width is set to 600. At least that's what we are seeing. But if we click on it, we'll see that it's actually set to 300, which is... Technically, it shouldn't be possible, because the lowest value is 320, right? Yeah, if we click OK, we can see that it did set up to 320, but nothing really changed. It's still, it's even smaller now, even though we have set it to 600. And if we try to lower this value, for example, 150, you will see that we cannot go back. <laughs> there is no way to go back to our normal screen. Now, what's funny is that our cover screen should work perfectly fine. As you can see, it is working without any issues. The settings are displaying correctly. Everything is all going okay. But the moment we go to our cover screen, just look at how small the enter pin is. That is crazy. And look at the labels, the name, uh, the names of labels down on your uh, settings. So we cannot really. Oh, I screwed up something. Wait, um, here it is. Oh, and look at now, the minimum width is 56, but if we click on it, it's still actually 320. So, as I said, you want to be careful about changing this, uh, since this will probably break some stuff. For example, we cannot go back, like if we go with this 56 setting, this won't do anything. Even though it says it does, it will set to 320 anyway. However, we can still bump it up to, for example, 500. And at this point, I have no idea if you guys can see anything, but as you can see, that's a problem. That's a very big problem because everything is really, really small. It's, yeah, I guess if you rotate your phone, then look, we have Samsung Fold. It almost looks like Samsung Flip, not Fold. So that's pretty funny. And as you can see, there's no really way to fix that. However, we can go try to go back to our display settings, which are right here, drawing settings, sorry. Let's bump down the, volu the value to 320. So there is a way to go back. And now we can try to go into our display. Though screen layout and zoom doesn't really work here, which we cannot use to change the layout which is pretty concerning, but let's try to fix it going to our cover screen. So here we want to go into screen layout and zoom. Let's set it to standard view. And let's see if this will actually apply to our cover screen. Okay, so the pin is now bigger. And if we go to our settings, we'll see that technically it's everything working now. And if we would go back to our cover screen and let's enable back our little cover display so screen layout and zoom multi view and let's flip back i think we have successfully fixed the issue congratulations so as you can see there is a way to go back previously i didn't even know that i fixed that using reset all settings to be honest uh, i'm not going to lie um, but you want to be basically really careful with changing those display settings because accidentally you might set it to a value so high that you will barely see anything on screen because it will be all so tiny. So, yeah. But anyway, that's all for this video. If you found it useful, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.